On November 16, 1775, General George Washington ordered a Bostonian bookseller named Henry Knox to lead an expedition to retrieve cannon from recently captured Fort Ticonderoga. Knox, whose commission as a colonel of artillery had not yet arrived, was also given an expense requisition of $1,000 in colonial currency. The expedition, which later came to be known as the Noble Train of Artillery, was a smashing success. Knox successfully retrieved 59 pieces of artillery weighing an estimated 60 tons. The expedition dragged the heavy guns over hills through the snow, and during the crossing of the Hudson River had to retrieve cannon that had crashed through the ice into the freezing water. The cannon that Knox retrieved formed the backbone of Washington's artillery and began their service by driving the British from Boston from atop Dorchester Heights. This Day in History brought to you by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts, partnered with the Freedom Trail Foundation to bring history to life.